Good morning dear students. Today we are going to learn one of the methods of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables. As you all know, the equations can be expressed in the form a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0. The methods for solving the equations, linear equations can be substitution, elimination and cross multiplication. Substitution and elimination method we have already seen in the classroom. Now next we are going to discuss about cross multiplication method. What, is, what does it mean by solving the equation? Actually we are going to use the formula to get the values of x and y. So here is the formula which, is, which you can see on the screen x by b divided by b1c2 minus b2c1 is equal to y by c1a2 minus c2a1 is equal to 1 upon a1 b2 minus a2 b1 complicated it's looking difficult so let's let me give you one simple trick to remember this just we have to remember this in a cyclic order just write a b and c just write a b and c similarly you have the same thing x equals y equals 1 then in the denominator you are going to write in the same way like we'll start from here b c simply write b c minus b c next one c a so it will be c a minus c a next one it will be a b minus a b now after that you can remember to write the coefficients like 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 so in this way you can easily remember the formula once again i will repeat just write the coefficient a b c in a cyclic form and then just write b c minus b c then c a minus c a then a b minus a b and then rewrite as 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 okay now let us solve a very simple problem using this method so uh, i have taken the simple problem 2x plus 3y minus 12 equals 0 and x minus y minus 1 equals 0 now we have the formula already you know that already the formula we have learned so i have written the formula over here now from here first we will write the values of a1 a2 so what is the value of a1 a1 is the coefficient of x and in this case it is 2 a2 is the coefficient of next coefficient that is one other equation now b1 coefficient of y in this case 3 and what is the value of b2 it is minus 1 just do not forget to look about the signs c1 is equal to minus 12 and c2 is equal to minus 1 so what are we going to do we are going to simply substitute the values in the formula so what is the formula b1 c2 so b1 is 3 c2 is minus 1 so b1 c2 means 3 into minus 1 which will give you minus 3 then according to the formula you have to put a minus sign next thing is b2 c1 b2 c1 so b2 is minus 1 c1 is minus 12 so just be careful about the sign minus minus will become plus so 12 into 1 will be 12 so this is the thing first then that is equal to y upon c1 a2 minus c2 a1 so just go for the first one c1 a2 c1 is minus 12 and a2 is 1 so minus 12 into 1 is minus 12 this minus sign of the formula next we have c2 a1 c2 a1 minus 1 into 2 so this will be minus 2 next 1 upon a1 b2 minus a2 b1 a1 <coughs> 2 b2 minus 1 so this will be minus 2 
minus of the formula last one a2 b1 a2 is 1 and b1 is 3 so simply it will be 3 so what we have done till now is only we have just substituted the values of a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 in the formula next step we'll just simplify it so x upon minus 12 and minus 3 they will add up to minus 15 then y minus 12 this will become plus 2 minus minus plus so minus 12 plus 2 minus 12 plus 2 will give you minus 10 and last one 1 upon minus 2 and minus 3 will give you minus 5 now how are you going to solve for x and y so just substitute this x upon minus 15 is equal to 1 upon minus 5 this will give you the value of x how this implies x equals minus 15 upon 5 which implies x equals 3 right similarly when we equate this y term y upon minus 10 is equal to 1 upon minus 5 which implies y will be given as minus 10 upon minus 5 so this will give you y equals 2 so simply by substituting in the formula this method can be used to for to just calculate the values of x and y any linear equation can be solved using this formula